like for instance, uh, let's go back to uh, Hellboy, uh, Hellboy Two, the Golden Army. We're filming. Right. There was a whole sequence that he was going to do a tracking shot around me uh, that was um, just he wasn't going to cut away to anything. So he had it was going to it was just a one shot scene quickly with me doing things with props, putting a contact lens in, spritzing my my gills with things and. I was a fish man in that movie. Right. Uh, so, uh, so <laughs> as the as the camera was, tra- it was on a, a, a circular track going around me, and he wasn't going to get any coverage on this to cut away to something else. So he had to get all of this action done in a certain amount of time. So I was, so take one. I'm going through all of the beats that we had rehearsed, and he at the end of take one, he says, "Cut, doggy, you are boring me to tears." That's all I had to say, and I knew exactly how to fix it. So, really? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because <laughs> once you know each other, you're well, boring huh? me to tears. Uh, right, right. In the shape of water, uh, uh, another fish man character I played for him. Um, uh, he might stop me at some point. And go, cut, Dougie. Ha! Huh. A noise, and I was like, got it. And I knew what to do the next time. Because, what does that mean? Well, because we had talked about uh, the difference between those t- these two fish men that I played for him. One is very intelligent and refined, gentlemanly, uh, uh, and the other one is an animal from the wild. Right, big difference. Right. So, uh, so he would remind me, "You're an animal. From, I don't want to see any guy, any human. I want to see the animal side of you." So, so if he saw a human reaction or gesture from me as the amphibian man in the shape of water, he would just go, "Doggy," ah, just to remind me, animal. Right. So. Wow. You, you develop a shorthand. Was there ever a moment where he just was so astonished by you and what you had done and brought to it that you you did something that <laughs> non-verbally, right? Mm. That he was like, Doggy, what? Is, like, <laughs> he was so happy. Does uh, he get that way? Does he get kind of animated and happy? Yeah, he stuff? totally does. Oh, when he like he's he's he is such a a, a grown up kid. I love him. I knew that. I met. I noticed that about him the first time I met him on Mimic many years ago. Mimic. Back in 1997. Yeah. He's, he's, a, he's a big kid. And I think that's why he's such a great director and why audiences love him is because he he makes things that will make the kid in him go, you get excited. Yeah. That's what he makes. He makes things that'll, he'll, that will give himself a geek gasm. Therefore, we all get one when we watch his, his work. 